Hi, everyone! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> so, Z Xander, before you did the change costume, I was the doll. <laughs> So hello everyone, we're back into Danganronpa! Hi! Hi Zan! Hi Xander and Zan! <laughs> you basically said no doll for you today! Yeah, exactly! <laughs> I'm doing good, how are you doing? Right, I need to double check everywhere I said I was going. I need to look at. Okay, so I've gone to the headmaster's room. Uh, I think I went to the data center. I went to the... Went to the dorms. Let's go to the fifth floor bio lab. Yes, Mom, you did pick the doll. Ha! What floor am I on? I'm on the fourth floor, so I need to go up a bit. <laughs> he paid channel points. And I'm... I just waved. Whoops. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> he paid the channel points. <laughs> Ah, right, right, right. The bio lab is here. Where it says raw! Here we go. Ah. <laughs> well, here I am in the bio lab. It's so cold! It's like abnormally cold. I feel like I'm in a giant refrigerator. Well, you are. Okay, Zan, see you in a minute. Seriously, why is it so cold? Mm, because of these things. <laughs> way too many. I know way too many Zans now. I don't know how to deal. <laughs> I'm surprised the surveillance camera can work with how cold it is in here. Can it though? <laughs> yes. <laughs> There's a stack of tops. I've been seeing a lot of these things, those things lately. There's so many. <laughs> so many sands. Ugh, so cold. Why is it so cold in here? Me, right now in my bedroom. That's the first thing I need to figure out. Eh. There's some kind of weird machine or something built into the wall. On the left side, there's a bunch of glowing blue lights. But on the other side... There's some kind of weird machine but built into the wall. Blah, 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 blah. I've seen something like this before. Ah, that's it. I've seen this kind of thing in horror movies and stuff. I am in a blanket. I am currently in a blanket, Xander. I'm still cold. <laughs> I mean, what you get? I'm a corpse. I, shall, I probably shouldn't be able to feel the heat. <laughs> it's a fridge for storing dead bodies. <laughs> Grab another blanket then. <laughs> <laughs> nah, then I'd be absolutely drenched. Drenched? <laughs> I'd be swamped in the blankets. I wouldn't be able to do anything. <laughs> Does that mean the bio lab is actually a morgue? I should probably take a closer look around. Does that mean I can look at this now? Oh, there's some kind of booklet here. Looks like it's an instruction manual. We offer an eco-friendly alternative to stand... And dry ice for all those cad of your needs. What? Yes, yes. 
<laughs> this is a morgue. I tell that from the moment we stepped in here, same! In addition to the germical... Germi fuck it, I can't eng I can't English, I speak Sakinese! Lamps. We also provide an own ozone generator to remove... To, for the removal of ethylene gas. Ethylene? Ethylene? Cadaver. Oh, cadaver! Germicide. Uh, germicide. Germicidal? Am I pronouncing anything right? <laughs> I need to go back to two science, apparently. <laughs> Simply insert the cadaver and the blue light will let you know that the automated system has activated. Hi, Zan. You, well, welcome back to Saki Can't Talk. Oh. Okay. Temperature and humidity levels will be adjusted automatically for up settings with our system anyone can keep a body fresh as a daisy for as long as you need <laughs> um guys i'm a corpse shouldn't i be in here <laughs> event of a problem, the red light will activate and the alarm will sound immediately. I'm not fucking so sorry, my humor is fucking up point it is. The exterior is stainless steel and when and we do offer an optional leather upholstery upgrade package. This is the instruction manual for the fridge. Time to run the fuck away. Oh, come on. Open up a fridge! It was a makeshift morgue. We know this! And about those lights by each slot. It looks like they've set up some... When a slot is occupied, the blue light comes on. Open, open, open. I want to open Mondo's, so we just open it and it's just a tub of butter. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Which would mean inside each lit up, lit up in blue... Another one of the victims is... Biolab Lights has been added to the truth bullet section. Woohoo! Can't let my emotions take control right now. There's only one thing I can do for everyone who's died. And that's defeat the mastermind! And to do that, I have to continue my investigation. I don't have any other option. Hmm. Can I look under the desk? No! Hold mm -hmm. on, there are eight occupied freezers, so we had like seven actual bodies in a broken laptop! <laughs> right. Right. I'll name what they are. Right. So you have Sayaka Maizono, Junko Enoshima. Leon Kuwata, Chihiro Fujisaki, 
Not yet. Mondo Owada. And then it's the two for kills. So it's... Taka Ishimaru. Uh, Hifumi. Celeste. And then it was... Yeah, then it was Sakura. Um, AKA Muscle <laughs> And then there's this one. I don't think Alter Ego would go into a freezer. Um. Mukuro Ikusaba should technically be in one of the freezers. Unless her butt- SHUT UP! MY GOD! STOP ACCIDENTALLY PRESSING SHIT, SAKI! <laughs> right. Truth bullets! Okay, now we need to go to the garden and the dojo. I think they're on this floor as well. Alter Ego did die, but Ult well, Alter Ego's computer got destroyed. But um, technically, Alter Ego would just be in the laptop. But so there's the laptop wouldn't need to go in the freezer. Oh, Toko, so this is where you were. What do you want? I don't even have to voice it. I'm. S am I so disgusting? You want me out of your your sight? N no, that's not it at all. I thought maybe you'd found a clue. Yeah, it's probably sent to the junk field, exactly. Oh, well, I haven't. I didn't find anything. Not one single clue. I figured since this place was related to the case, it would have ha have something, right? But there wasn't anything out of the ordinary here. Give it back! Give back my precious time! Calm down, Toko. What's your problem? Don't tell me to calm down. Do you have any idea of what I'm going through right now? When everyone finds out, out that they're gonna call me useless, good for nothing. I mean, you are a good for nothing, but that's beside the point. <laughs> I don't like Togo. <laughs> Nobody's gonna say that. Yeah, no, I will. Master will. Good. I'm not sure I can disagree with that. Do we need to get Bianca to come punish you, Toka? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I don't want that! I'm sick of it. always being looked down on! Why won't anyone accept me? You're the one that enjoys it from Byakuya! Well, I don't think there are any clues here, so maybe I'm gonna get going. <laughs> no, I'm gonna look. Fuck you. <laughs> I'd rather have Jill than Toko, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> you support Toko. <laughs> I mean, someone's gotta love her, I guess. Hey, look, guys! It's me! <laughs> okay, well... Um... Okay, now I need to find the garden. Not that way. I'm sure the garden's in somewhere. Ah! Hello! It's you and your entire orchard of cherry trees! Yes, it is! It's where all of you are. Um... Huh? It's gone. Mukuro's body. It's not here? Well, yeah. Monokuma's gonna clear it all. The Monokuma flower. Is it true? Does it really eat paper, plastic, and people? Well, I don't think it's related to the case, so I'd better keep my distance. <laughs> yeah, we could. 
because it's in the fucking mold. Yeah, exactly. There are still just four chickens left. Honestly, I'd be kind of terrified if there were more than that. Not really. It'd basically just be Monokuma replaced the fucking chicken. Look at all those chickens. Maybe the body's inside the pool shed. I'd better check it out, just to be sure. I didn't find anything even close to a dead body. But if it's not in here either, then it must be. Could it be in the bio lab? But corpses aren't the only thing I need to check in there. There's one other thing. I went in there! That tarp. A tarp played a key role in the other case, so I better look into it. It came from the bio lab. Pop has been added to the truth bullet section of the handbook. Actually, I should have double checked everything else in there. That's all I really need to check here. Oh, apparently not. Oh, thank you for the cherry blossoms! No, 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 no! Monokuma! Is everyone working hard? Is your investigation coming along nicely? Sorry, Zan, I can't steal you a chicken. Well then, since you're all giving it your best, your generous headmaster will give you a little hint. <laughs> For those of you who are interested, please make your way to the gym ASA possible. What, now he wants to give us a hint? It's suspicious, there's no doubt about that. This could be a trap. <laughs> but even knowing that, you said to go to the gym, right? So that's how they work. I need to do the best effect at the best place and time. Um, basically, what happened when we first started this series is whenever I found a monocoin, I'd go, Coin! And then someone would rain gold on me. <laughs> Coin! <laughs> Monokuma playing with our heads? Yeah, for real. Yeah, just like that, just like that. <laughs> oh, hi, Hiro. Makoto! <laughs> Why do you act so surprised? Oh, uh, uh, no, no reason. You heard Monokuma's announcement, right? Are you here to find out what he has to say? Uh, I... I... I just did, actually. I'm on my way out. You already talked to him? What did he say? Listen, sorry, but I... I gotta go! Hiro, wait! There was no point in trying to stop him. He ran off like a frightened animal. Hiro? It was like he was trying to avoid me. I was trying- I was hoping to talk to him about the notebook I found in the locker. Has he been hiding something this whole time? Huh. Hiro be acting sus! <laughs> I like how it's just m- <laughs> so what I'm hearing is Monokuma seems like he's trying to set up Makoto as a prime suspect again, yeah. Hello! Welcome, welcome, hello! Are you ready for your final hint? Kido looks like the one who would have thought he's gonna be dead <laughs> chapter but it survived exactly that was it well i just so happened to to be in the envelope on the ground in the front of you we're not ready at all no <laughs> the envelope this must be the envelope <laughs> yes yeah, be quickly and let us be on our way you damn psycho teddy bear <laughs> And just so you know, I won't be answering any questions about what you find inside. 
What? <laughs> Don't worry, just get on with it. Okay. Monokuma's cryptic words didn't make me feel any better, but I picked up the envelope. And I opened it. What I found was a single photograph. It, it featured a bunch of faces I recognized extremely well. Ah, when I got the envelope, my brain <laughs> got licked so hard I went into a dreamlike state. <laughs> It's everyone who'd come to Hope's Peak at the same time as me. Wait, but... There's someone behind Sa Sayaka. She's the only one I don't recognize. Wait, that's not true. I do recognize her. That's right. When Byakuya and I were in the headmaster's room, and when we looked at that file... Mukuro Ikusaba? Then this girl is... What? Why? Why is Mukuro here with everyone else? And even more than that... Just having everyone here pose like this is weird enough by itself. And we're all wearing matching uniforms. I don't remember anything like this. You say we are. Makoto, you're not even in the picture. And, and now th that I'm looking at it, it's not even everyone. I'm not in the picture. I'm not the only one not there. Picture has all 15 students, but not me. But I guess that makes sense. After all, I don't remember ever taking a picture like this. I went to junior high with Sayaka, but the first time I met everyone else... Sakura giving the ultimate manga fan. Retropathia was when I arrived here at Hope's Peak Academy. So it's natural for me not to be in this picture, but what's definitely unnatural is that everyone else is in the picture. I thought everyone was like me and didn't know each other until they got here. But if this picture's real, then what could that mean? Could it be everyone else and just me? Everyone here except me is... <laughs> <laughs> How long are you gonna keep up this rambling soliloquy of yours, Hamlet? <laughs> what are you gonna do? You're kinda getting in the way of s way standing there, you know? Hmm. So, I mean, get out! B but I told you, I'm not fielding any request, any questions. Unbelievable. And any kind of mystery would... And w what kind of mystery would this be if I gave you all the answers? That'd be totally out of left field. I can't wait to... I guess that means he's done talking. Damn it! Ow! Ow! Why'd you have to hit me? Group photo has been added to the truth bullock section of your handbook. So in the end, all I found in the gym is even more confusion. And with that confusion in hand, I left the gym dejected. I thought something else would happen, never mind. <laughs> so I got hit in the head for no reason. How does that count as a hint? It just made me even more confused. Is that what Monokuma was going for? Did he put together a fake photo just to confuse me? But it looked so real, so full of life. How could anyone fake that? <laughs> Which would mean everyone but me. Maybe I should ask everyone that. Re oh, ow! <laughs> ow! <laughs> that hurt. <laughs> That's gonna give me a headache. <laughs> I already have one for the hammer. Ooh, balloon! Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> 
maybe I should ask everyone directly. That should clear this up. No, I have to clear all this up. Yee! Yay, hip hats! <laughs> she was meant to. Anyway. <laughs> Thank you for the head pads. Right, let's find where everyone is then if I have to ask everyone. Okay, he's in the archives. Emotional Channel damage! damage! Garden, bio lab. You're in the dining hall. Right, I guess we'll just go on every floor until we find something. Oh, someone used the glow sticks? I didn't realize that. <laughs> uh, I will show you. I don't know if it works in this ver in this form of my uh, image, but ah, uh, it's too low for you to see. That's why. Give me a minute. Give me a minute to do this. I'll show you what it does. Woo! Woo! Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm glad you think so. Uh, I can make them move if I set it up properly. Give me a minute. Ba -ba -ba -da. We want tracking and tracking. Hi. Ah, keep up. Stay up. Hand up. Hi. <laughs> they are. This, uh, um, this body, the tracking for the hands are a bit, uh, naff. <laughs> Uh, I'll be fully honest, the hand tracking is a bit naff, but... <laughs> yeah, the hand tracking is a bit scuffed. <laughs> That's why I don't use it. Okay, she is in here. Let's go in here then. It's also why, um... Yeah, you don't usually see uh, my lower half of my body. <laughs> oh, you want me to hydrate? You want me to hydrate? I'm hydrating! Look. I have a huge bottle. Mm. it that was like grow 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 and hydrated me like every five minutes <laughs> so this is where you've been hiding listen i was hoping to talk to you uh, my god uh, sorry i gotta go what she ran off so fast i didn't even have time to ask her to stop Ina. why why won't you talk to me? Yes, there is a cooldown because I got drowned on my birthday. <laughs> Not literally drowned, but like, you get what I mean. <laughs> Ow! Why does that happen? Why? It's not, that's not even the right freaking connections that I've set up. 
I'm so pissed. Alright, now we go into the library. Because he's in that room, I think. I think, or am I, go or am I thinking the wrong thing? Ah! No, I'm not thinking the wrong thing. He is in the archive. I have nothing to talk to you about. Don't come to me as if we're friends. H hey, Byakuya, wait! Uh, but of course he didn't. He just walked away. What the fuck? Why is he acting like that? Like he was purposely trying to avoid me. Because he is. Anyone on this floor? No. Fourth floor? No. Okay, so I go to the garden and the bio lab. <laughs> yeah, you forgot what the concept of friendship is. Yeah. Byakuya be hating us again. Another point to Monokuma trying to make Makoto look like the killer again. No, the first time he was trying to make um, Kitty Giddy seem like the killer. But because Mato Makoto was like sick during that time, he also got, he also had technically the no alibi and could be blamed for it. So originally it was to get Kitty Giddy gone. But it was also like killing two birds with one stone. Like if, if what, either one of them could be gone, the mass mine wouldn't mind. Talk to me. Hey, hero. Mm. Uh, What's going on with you? Every time I see you, you freak out like that. First time he wanted to get laid, but got framed instead. <laughs> yeah. No, no, I. No. Sorry, but I'm in a big hurry. Once again, he ran off like a terrified rabbit. You know what's wrong? Still wasn't able to talk to him about the notebook I found. It was like he was avoiding me. Like he was afraid of me. Why? Uh, because the mastermind is now actually trying to blame you for this shit. Uh, <laughs> I decided to visit the bio lab once more. And the first thing I saw when I got in there was her passed out again. Huh? Oh. Toko, are you okay? No. No! She's not dead, is she? <laughs> ah! It's cold! It's super cold! So cold, I think I might catch a cold! If you keep taking naps in places like this, I'm sure you will. I see. What? I was asleep? <laughs> I must have faded again! I bet you were standing there staring at me getting all excited, weren't you? No, I wasn't. Oh? Then what? Hot and bothered? Straight up horny? <laughs> I don't like this! Um, okay, so why did you pass out? 
I don't know. Last thing I remember is me waking up just now. What'd you do to Miss Morose? That shit can suffocate you with a cold nitrogen gas. <laughs> oh, that's right. Your memory loss stops and starts each time you switch. <laughs> Bingo Bazinga! We share some basic knowledge, but our memories are much more, uh, very much separate. Don't say it like it's a bad thing! It's a blessing as far as I'm concerned! Cause even if she forgets something, I totally remember! Yes. So it's like the double the memory! Um, no, it's more like half. <laughs> what that tongue do with Childa? <laughs> Genocide Jack's memory has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Huh? Uh -huh. But all I want to know right now is why my little dar- Where is my little darling? Now tell me or I'll slit your throat! I, I, I don't know. I'm sure Bioki is around here somewhere doing his own investigation. <laughs> mm, yeah. By himself? I, I assume so. Oh, I'm on fire. I knew it! I totally knew it! I'm a pro when it comes to all things master! <laughs> anyway, gotta hurry! Can't even imagine how lonely he must be right now. <laughs> Long tongue really terrify me mood. Toko shot off and her eerie laugh echoed behind her. I totally forgot to ask her about the picture. Well, there's no point in asking Jess like Jack anyway. Whew. Besides, I have more important things to do now, right now. Why did Toko faint? There's gotta be some reason for it. Oh, I wonder if it's to do with the body sticking out the freezer! It just means better head with my What the fuck? The fridge, it's open. But I'm sure they were all shut the last time I was here. That must be why she passed out. Right. She faints so easily. Kikyoko! Makoto. It's getting late, isn't it? Are you okay? Indeed. I'm sorry if I made you worry. N no, you don't have to apologize. Listen. But listen, about his, this room. Oh, yeah, it's... It seem... It's a morgue. Yeah. I knew it. I suspected it much. And Toko must have looked inside the fridge, seen what was in there, and well, there you have it. You knew she'd faint! Indeed. I was on my way here when Genocide Jack came running past me. I assumed she must have sneezed, but once I got inside, the real reason became clear. It would seem... I imagine she came here to investigate, but and when she opened the slot there, that's when she saw the body inside and dropped like a bag of rocks. Why has everything got to be so difficult with her? Anyway... We should close it up. Don't want to leave it hanging open like that. Yeah, good idea. Give me a hand with this. Kyoko approached the fridge, hands outstretched. But suddenly, she stopped. What's wrong? Listen. Maybe we should wait a second before closing it. Huh? How come? Because Mukuro's body is in here. Oh! Mukuro's corpse? Mukuro's body is inside the fridge? I see. Just like every other time, the mastermind probably brought it up here while we were in the class trial. The mastermind did it? Because they assumed we wouldn't be doing the class trial over again, I guess. So... You may be right. Either way, now I can finally get a good look at the body. Oh, that's right. Kyoko didn't get a chance to check the body during the last investigation. Makoto. I need to do my own examination of the corpse as soon as possible. I'm going to find a clue this time. Angel Silver Song, hi! Welcome to the chat! I do like Kyoko, she's really good. <laughs> I'm going to grab the mastermind by the trail. By the tail, sorry. Okay, so what should I do? So then. Why don't you just wait over there? I'll let you know as soon as I'm finished. 
just wait over there. That's it. Bridge meant for storing dead bodies. I can't do it. I just... I can't look inside. I'm meant to talk to her again? I should ask Kyoko about the group photo. <laughs> I hope you have a fun time! After all, she's in it too. Don't let me interrupt your investigation, but I wanted to talk to you about something. What is it? It's about the announcement Monokuma made earlier. You mean the one about the hint, or something? I didn't take him up on the offer. Huh? Why not? Because... The only reason he'd give us a hint at this point would be to confuse us, to cloud our judgement. I can solve this mystery on my own without whatever hints he may have to offer. That's a good point. I wish I could go back and do the same thing, but what's done is done, I guess. Standing here looking at her? I don't think she's hiding anything from me. Is she right? Did the mastermind forge this that picture and as a trap to confuse us? That's gotta be it. There's no other explanation. Am I meant to look at the tops now? You know, I think I've seen a top like this before. Oh. Oh? Yee! Hatsu! Ha ha ha! Uh, that's the same one as I found in the garden the tool shed. If I remember correctly, that top had a stamp on it that said the bio lab. And that's the top that was used to help camouflage the murder in the garden. At some point, someone got it from the bio lab and took it over here. Top has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Okay, I think now I know what all the visuals do. <laughs> That's not even all of them, I don't think. Um. Yeah, there's two more I took off. There's two more I took off. I have a big head, I have a big head. <laughs> oh, now I have a small head. Now I'm tiny headed. <laughs> <laughs> I took those off because people kept messing with my head. <laughs> I've already looked through this instruction manual, more importantly. Um... What? On the left side of the refrigerator- Yeah, yeah, we know this! We know this! It would seem... Yes, we know this! Yes. Looking around, the number of lights are on, including Mukuro's. There's nine in all. Nine. Nine lights? Bio lab lights have been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Okay, Makoto, I'm done. <laughs> Already? Jeez, that was fast. Indeed. Anyone can do good work if they go slow. But in that in that spirit, I'll make my report brief. So did you find anything? Indeed. I paid careful attention to the wounds and tr and the traces of blood. And it seems highly likely that the stomach wound and the blow to the back of the head were inflicted after death. Really? The burnt tissue made things a little difficult, but I'm completely confident in my findings. So that means neither of those were the fatal injury, right? Then what was the fatal injury? Due to the explosion, the victim's bodies on uh, victims identify. Identity is a nut. I can't read! There were, however, dead before the blast. The victim had been stabbed a single time with a knife, which went completely through the body. They also had been struck in the back of the head with an object about as thick as a metal pipe. The body was also covered in other wounds, but these were 
at least several days old. The only other option is those other wounds, but the file said they were old. Is that right? Where does it say they're old? Huh? Because... All the Monokuma file says is that they were inflicted at least several days ago. I guess I don't see the difference. Wrong. Well, the difference is immense considering the impression they gave. Listen. You seem to be equating several days old with simply old. However, but that doesn't quite follow logically. Old wounds make it sound like they've been there forever. Like they're not related to the murder. Are you saying they are? But all we got from the Monokuma file was right after she was killed, right? So if the wounds were at least a few days old, then no way they could have had anything to do with this. So then. But what if Mukuro herself wasn't killed within the last few days? What? At the very least. Certainly. You can allow it as one of many possibilities, can't you? One of many. Right. A detective doesn't have supernatural powers. There's no way to predict the answer from the beginning. Instead, the ideal detective begins by imagining as many possible, possible scenarios as they can. In other words... They envision these possibilities without prejudice, without bias, using only their logic and common sense. Then, as they investigate, they test and what they find against each of these possibilities. <laughs> of course, me telling you this doesn't mean you'll be any good at detective work. But beyond using that to solve this particular mystery, you should keep it in mind for the future. Hyoko's account has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook! Hey. So, if there's anything else you would like to know about the condition of the body, now's the time. Of course! Come to think of it, there was one thing. Earlier... Hyoko's split spitting facts? Exactly! I love her! Earlier, when I was looking at Mukuro's profile, it listed her height and weight. So... 5 foot 7 inches, 97 pounds. Vitals were... 31, 22, 32. Did I get all that right? You remembered all that? They were indeed consistent with the corpse. So then... I don't forget about the Fenrir tattoo. There's absolutely no mistake. Indeed. Our victim in this case, without a doubt, Mukuro Ikusaba. I don't know who Maki... Maki Ma is. Mukuro Ikusaba profile has been added to the truth bullet section. And? Is that all you wanted to ask? It, yeah, I think so. So then. Then it looks like I, we have no further, further business with Mukuro's body. Oh, okay. I've only watched, like, episode one of that. <laughs> I've only watched episode one, so, like, not really. <laughs> Let's get going. It's kind of chilly in here. Oh, wait. Are we not going to put the body back? Don't you think it's kind of sad leaving it out like this? Why? Sad? Did you forget? She was our enemy once. A part of the ultimate despair. But she still got killed. She's still a victim. Hey. Have you ever heard the phrase, you reap what you sow? Well, yeah, but still. <sighs> you really are naive, you know that? It's really quite appa appealing. Appalling. Appalling? But she could have abandoned me, but she decided to help me instead. So, for someone like that, what does it mean to be naive? So then. I think we've done all we can do here. Go back to our separate investigations, yes? Ah, hold on. I still have one more thing to do. Something I need to talk to Kyoko about. I need to ask about the pocketbook I found in the locker. If I don't do it now... Hey, Kyoko! Uh, I did have one last thing. I know I shouldn't, but I feel like I have to ask. What? Go ahead, then out with it. 
Have you really not seen your dad even once since you got here? What? What? So... What do you mean? Well, you know all those lockers on the second floor of the dorms? Indeed. I do, yes. But to get an into any of those lockers, you need the handbook of whoever the locker belonged to. Actually, I managed to get into them op- I managed to get them open using that emergency handbook. See. The one you found in the headmaster's hidden room. And? So, did you find anything worthwhile in the locker? I found a pocketbook, and after looking through it, I think it might be your pocketbook. Why is that? What makes you say that? Because... Like I said, only the locker's owner should be able to get into it, right? You can't imagine those lockers belong to any of us. After all, we only recently got access to... We only got access to that area just recently. What I'm saying is there's no way I could have had access to any of those lockers. And if I did have a pocketbook, why would I bother putting it in the locker? Everything you said makes perfect sense, but there was something written inside. It was about the headmaster, about your father. What? If that's true... Could that mean that video is real too? Video? Makoto. Makoto. I think everything is finally starting to fit together to reveal the, a cohesive picture. Although I'm afraid of... That picture might be worse than anything we could have imagined. What are you talking about? I... Um, I'm hearing things. Oh. <laughs> I need to go investigate those lockers. Right now. I need to confirm what you said with my own two eyes. Oh, let me give you the headmaster's handbook. That way you can... So... That won't be necessary. If I'm right about this, I shouldn't have any problem opening the locker with my own handbook. After all, it would seem that it's my locker. Your locker? <laughs> Hearing things perfectly in line with the spoopy season. However, it's not perfectly in line with the fact that I hear them every single day of my life. <laughs> If you watch this, it'll all make sense. A DVD? And it says Class 78 Urgent Interviews? So... I found it in that hidden room after you left. To be honest, I don't think Danganronpa had the worst event that hum that will ever occur in human history's cover. <laughs> anyway. I don't think I don't have time to explain exactly why I what I think it means. So just watch it and see for yourself. I think you'll realize exactly what it means. You'll understand why you found a po my pocketbook in, in a place none of us ha have ever seen before. I mean, unless you're deaf, you should be hearing things every day, like cars, birds, and people talking. No, not what I meant. But I guess that means there's something important. There's some important clue going on in this DVD. Interview DVD... Makoto. Oh, now it's my turn. Okay, I'll, he I'll hydrate! Hydrating! <laughs> <sighs> Lovely hydrate. Do you have a second to listen to me ramble? I meant if 90% of the population got brainwashed to commit... <laughs> Anarchy. Uh, ramble. In other words. So, as it turns out, the arrangements I made didn't stick. What I mean is, I'm less and less sure of everything, even my own feelings. You're talking about your dad, right? I can never find the answer to the questions I wanted to ask for the rest of my life. And all because of the mastermind. However... But there is one thing I am sure of. When it comes to the mastermind, there's no room in my heart for forgiveness. I... I swore to destroy the mastermind. This is just one more reason to follow through on that. Kyoko's eyes burned with fire of determination. The determination to defeat the mastermind. It's strange to be confronted with his death and suddenly feel this way. I couldn't care less if my father had found happiness. Why? So why is it? 
Why does it bother me so much how he suffered? It's ridiculous. There's just no understanding it, I guess. She let out a small laugh as she said it. But her smile was filled with sorrow. <sighs> so that's it for my rambling. There's still much to do before I can consider my task complete. Yeah, you're right. Hey. But keep this in mind. There is only ever one absolute truth. Whatever truth serves justice or sever. <laughs> Whether that truth serves justice or suffering. Whether it's the greatest truth or the worst. What do you mean? Makoto. Even if the truth you uncover is filled with hopelessness, you still can't give up hope. Absolutely not, because because all I can do is keep moving forward. That's pretty much all I'm good good at, you know? <laughs> Indeed. Sorry if that was strange. So then. Anyway, I need to get going. Oh, ad break. Whoops. I'll see you at the class trial. Leaving behind the fa that farewell, Kyoko was gone. What if your father got launched into space and came <laughs> burnt to, bo to the bow and had its... <laughs> it's that important, Kyoko, kitty kitty. <laughs> I better get myself going. I better get going myself. I got that DVD from Kyoko. I should head to the AIM A slash V room and check it out. Kyoko said something about hopeless truth. But no matter what happens, I won't lose hope. Even if it's the worst truth in the world. I can't afford to lose hope. Let's go, motherfuckers! Let's run. Down all the... Beckin' stairs. If I don't get lost in the fucking place. Let's go, motherfuckers, to the AV room. Hell yeah. Yeah, where all this started, you're fucking right! <laughs> Let's go, boy! Let's fucking go! Ah! This should be able to play DVDs just fine. Well then, I better take a look. I look at the DVD Kyoko gave me and put it in the player. It said it that it was playing, but nothing appeared on screen. <laughs> you wish your school had the same layout? Oh my god. I just... I stared into the black of the monitor. It must have only been a few seconds, but to me it felt like an eternity. And then, all of a sudden, an image appeared. S Sayaka! It took me by total surprise. I hadn't seen Sayaka in who knows how long. And there she was. I have no idea, Zan. <laughs> what? I ain't set you a minute cool down. I'm so confused. <laughs> Took me by total. S oh okay, wait, I've said that. Are you ready to begin? The voice I heard it was the man positioned on one side of the screen. It was a voice of a middle-aged man. I do apologize, but I hope you don't mind if I record our conversation. Not 
as a shield mode because that cooldown is only about five seconds. I don't know what it is then. I, I wish I knew. <sighs> I'm a little slow, you know. I never really got the hang of taking notes while having a conversation. <laughs> it sounded like he was trying to make a joke, but Sayaka's tense face didn't move a single millimeter. It's Twitch on PC. I'm on phone right now and I don't have the cooldown. I mean, Twitch yesterday was fucking up for people on the phone, so... So this video is meant to serve as a kind of contract substitute. Ah, interesting. It's not that I don't trust you guys. It's more like insurance. So please don't worry too much. Now then, let me get straight to the point. Ooh, what's going on? There is a chance that you may have to spend the rest of your life here in the school. Can you accept that? Well, if you didn't try and circumvent the shield, there wouldn't be lol. What do you mean, circumvent the shield? Huh? I'm so confused. Uh, um, you want me to accept that? Sayaka was obviously at a total loss. It made total sense. Who would agree to spend to spending the rest of your life in this school? I accept. What? Thank you. And I'm sorry about all this. Motherfucker be reusing his rascal voice! Ah! <laughs> that a fucking shit! <laughs> Saki be simping! Saki be simping! I can promise you that I will do everything in my power to keep you safe. As the headmaster of Hope's Peak Academy, I give you my word. Hey! Saki simping more than me? Impossible! <laughs> Zan, you have no idea how much I simp for some people, for some characters. <laughs> As if on cue, that's where the video cuts out. There was a lot I hadn't understood. <laughs> I can't stop yawning. I know, right, pics? You see the pic I uploaded on your- Wait, you uploaded a picture on the simping? Did you? No, I did not see that. I'm gonna go see it now. There's a lot I hadn't understood up until now. But this, only this. I simply couldn't comprehend what I heard. Because I know how much Sayaka wanted to get out of here. Emotional damage. Oh, it was a couple days ago? Give me a minute. I'll take a double check. Oh, I don't know what those are. I don't know what those figures are. That's Bochi. Who's Bochi? Bochi. I'm confused. I'm sorry, I'm dumb! Fair enough! <laughs> Should have probably checked that message out a while ago. Whoop. Because I know how much Sayaka wanted to get out of here. I know how much she wanted to escape the and pursue her dreams which her with her friends again. I'm confused. Sounds like... Uh, 
Sounds like normal Saki. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, she would know. She's my mum. <laughs> she sees me all hours of the day. <laughs> Well, I say sees, she hears me all hours of the day. <laughs> Even if I'm not in the same room as her, I'm loud as fuck, so I'm pretty sure mom hears what I say. <laughs> my mom is basically my manager at this point. <laughs> she wanted that so bad, she tried to frame me for murder. So why? <laughs> Why would she say yes to living here for the rest of her life? As I sat there thinking about it, I noticed a sudden light on the monitor, the video that I thought was finished. Black flashed back on screen. My eyes darted back to the screen. And if I was confused before, what I saw next pushed me right over the edge. Ha! What I saw was me. Impossible, impossibly, undeniably, me. So Makoto, before we begin, I should let you know that I'll be recording our conversation. Yes. Me and the headmaster were looking at each other. He and I were having what seemed like a fairly normal conversation. But I... The I in here now... Had absolutely no memory of it! I had no memory of even meeting the headmaster, much less sitting down to talk with him like this! Now, shall we get straight to the point? Makoto, there's a chance you may have to spend the rest of your life here in the school. Can you accept that? Yes. Oh! This can't be real. I said yes? I'm sorry I'm putting you through all this. Well, I mean, we don't have much of a choice, do we? But I promise that as long as you're in this school, I will do everything I can to protect you. Ah! As the headmaster of Hope's Peak Academy, that's the very least I can do for you. Ow. Once again, the video cut out. From there, the video repeated the same screen again and again with the others. Yakuya. Surprise, Why? <laughs> mother! <laughs> oh, oh, hello. Is that all you wanted? It was just to say hello. <laughs> Can I have a hug at least? <laughs> Love you, Mama. Oh, Baba. Yeah. What you got, Jake? <laughs> you put up with my shit, I put up with yours. <laughs> Hina, everyone. They all said that they agreed to live hey, in this school no forever. Politics. And then... Kyoko. Her first interview with him had been recorded as clearly. Without a doubt, she had met him. She had sat down with the headmaster of Hope Speak Academy, her father. And when he asked her this question... Ah! <laughs> when, she, when she answered the question, I got a face full of ferrets. <laughs> I, 
I love you. <laughs> Mama. What? I got boys, you boy. <laughs> this one gives me kisses. You went to me, but my butt didn't. <laughs> I love you. I love you. Yes, I do. Uh -oh. You're very no. quiet animals, aren't you? No. What noises do ferrets even make when they talk? I don't think I've ever heard that. Eddie, why are you the one with the bite on your bum? Mwah! What have you done there? Do we have to take him to check it, get him checked out? No, it's not broke the skin. It's definitely Eddie. I thought it was a Hi, I killed your pie. Oh no, the once the wonder of the hamster sounds familiar. It's Michael J. <laughs> it's Michael J. Tatum. Then you eat him, Black Butler, not a Sebastian. Yeah, yeah. Okay, back to Jack. You're fed up. You're fed up. I love I you, little one. Up. I love you, little one. Can you put him back? Yes, you can put him back. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, mom. Here, mom, you take the you take the face cam. Please trigger my mom, please. It triggered dad before. Why is it still triggering me? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. There. Yeah. Ah, ha, 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 it don't ha, work ha, with that first. <laughs> okay. Yes, please. Love you, Mom. I love you, Mum. What the fuck? <laughs> I don't want anything. I don't want. I don't want to say I love you. What the hell, Mum? I'm not that bad of a child. <laughs> you know what I mean. Okay. There's the apparently now normal mother time of my street. <laughs> <Sorry about that. laughs> anyway, everybody. She accepted a life within the school. Just as Kyoko's interview was wrapping up, the monitor suddenly went black. Huh? It wasn't just the monitor, the DVD player itself had apparently been turned off. Which of course meant that the DVD wasn't playing anymore. What the heck just happened? Say what? Oopsie! Look like looks like it broke! Out of service! What? It just so happened to break just now? Too bad. Now then when when does it matter? Failure can strike anywhere, anytime. That's what failure is, right? Yeah. Yeah. Failure, my ass! You cut the power on purpose! Well, whatever. Even if I watched the whole thing, I'd just be more of the same. He'd ask them 
the questions and they'd all say yes. I couldn't help myself. I let out a huge exasperated sigh, but as I did, I remembered something. That's right. I fainted too, and then I woke up. I noticed a strange feeling of separation within myself. A disconnect. It would seem... Thinking back on it now, at that point my memory was gone. At that point in time, I had forgotten. I couldn't remember why I had come to this school. I couldn't remember what my ultimate ability was. But what would make you forget all that? Hey. Strange, isn't it? It's hard to imagine it happened by chance. It seems too much of a coincident. Convenient, sorry. It seems too convenient. A convenient outcome. Something that seemingly too obvious work in the favor of the mastermind. Brainwashed by the mastermind, exactly, Sandal. Ah. Penguin. Nom nom nom. So does that mean I've lost my memory too? Of course the headmaster would be the mastermind. The head mind. <laughs> what about the others? Have we all forgotten? Or interview DVD has been updated. Anything that has a start, there has to be an end. And if the end comes, then that means it's time for a fresh start. Whoa. There is no night that doesn't have a dawn. Although that dawn is totally pitch black. Whoa. There is no storm that won't eventually end. Of course, then that leads to drought. But as I said, Every end is the promise of a new beginning, which is why I'm sure we'll get to meet again, because the end is only the beginning. What? Anyway, let's get started. <laughs> the beginning of the end of the class trial. Everyone gather once again at you know where. <laughs> One minute. <laughs> it's about to begin again. The class trial is going to start. The final class trial. The last time all of our lives will be on the line. The last time hope and despair are on the line. I don't have a choice. I have to do this. Okay then. Thank you, Dad. This is the end. Yes, I'm the first one this time. Makoto. You're early, Makoto. Listen. Does it mean you feel prepared? Yeah, for now at least. But where's everyone else? Why aren't they here yet? However... Don't worry. I'm sure they'll be here soon. And just like she said... Byakuya! So, slide update. Zanmov literally just woke up and might have to wait for him to go live. But I'll be going live at four with some character creation, maybe some stuff from Soul Mission in the meantime. Right, Zan, um, we're basically at the trial and I wanted to do the trial tomorrow, uh, especially because I don't know how long the trial will last. And I have an interview at some point soon, which is why I need to get ready. Um, 
of an interview for something really important. So, would you rather me try and get through this, the the uh, trial, or or just stop it when we get to the preparing bit? Biaquia. They arrived one after another. Oh, yeah, if you want. Hina? Hiro? Silence. And it wasn't any normal silence. It was a deafening silence of fear and suspicion. It was like... The first class trial. You called for me and so I appear. Ah! I'm late! <laughs> <laughs> Strong, silent master, so wonderful, so cool, so hot, my loins are ablaze. Now listen, everything will be just fine if you leave it to me. My beautiful scissors! With my sharp, scissor sharp scissors in hand, I'll stab and gouge and shiv the master of evil. But I thought you didn't you couldn't kill anyone but adorable little boys. <laughs> if it's what Master wants, it can be a boy, a girl, or anything in between. I can handle it. <laughs> <sighs> Where am I? No human language can describe the disappointment I'm feeling right now. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm having to do this. <laughs> Where is it? That one. <laughs> my disappointment is immeasurable. <laughs> and my day is ruined. <laughs> Kitty giddy right now, I'll be like. <laughs> <laughs> is everyone here? Ooh, and wearing our gloomy ghost faces, I see. Now. Okay, well then, let's begin! Thrills, chills, this yeah. final class trial is gonna be slathered into the pitch black despair! Climaxium sorrow! That's fine. You're right, this is the final class trial. <laughs> Bro, what the fuck? <laughs> Hi, Panda! I see. I see you got in at the end. And this time, it'll be fair. Wind flooding chat. <laughs> Nah, it's fine. What do you mean this time? Stop with all the s What do you mean this time? Stop with all the slander! I'm a bear in good standing, you know? Unbelievable. And if there was a guy, a, a Mr. Fair Guy Universe Contest, I'd take home the tiara every year! I'm gonna win this game super fair and square! Today? Feeling white. And I'll make sure everyone's matching at watching at home, you know, knows that despair is mightier than the hope. Stop talking. Enough of your tedious drivel. Begin the trial already. <laughs> sure, sure. Let's begin the trial already. I'll wait on I'll be waiting for you to you down below. You guys. So don't try and run away. <laughs> Panda Basically what's going on is uh, We're getting into the trial now And I have a thing To get prepared for um, In like a few hours But like my anxiety is like Prep early <laughs> um, Well it's not exactly prep early But you know I decided to stream early, and now, because I don't know how long the trial will be, we're going to stop the stream when we get to the, uh, the, um, uh, sorting out the trial. That's fine, Mom! <laughs> Whatever. In the name of my family. This will be over in no time. With an inexperienced... Applicable confidence, Byakuya was the first to end first onto the elevator. Ah, You know what, Panda? 
Because I'm streaming tomorrow, I will use Saki Clown tomorrow. No even need for a redeem. I'll just use Saki Clown tomorrow. Because <laughs> I'm going to stream this tomorrow as well. I want to I finish this game this week. <laughs> one by one, the others followed. <laughs> Nobody made eye contact. Nobody said a word. They just disappeared into the elevator. Hey. They're, uh, they're all acting odd. You know what? Because you're here right now, Panda, I'll do this for you, and then I'll keep this on for my next stream, which is tomorrow. There! We are now... Oh. <laughs> I forgot I don't have arms in this color. Oops. <laughs> Give me a fucking minute. <laughs> I need to do something. But you know why that is, don't you? Y yeah, I think so. However, well, you can tell us all about it soon at the class trial. You're right. I'm ready. So, ready to win, right? Of course. <laughs> I'm glad to hear you say that. Then Kyoko was aboard the elevator. Whew. Kyoko, my fave. Fair. That's absolutely fair. Yaku is my fave, but I don't know why. <laughs> I start making my way towards the opening. Step after step towards the gap. Gaping more. I'd resolved that this would be the last time. I repeat to myself that there was no fear, no mystery left. I pushed the anxiety down, calmed my trembling body, and finally, on steady legs, I passed the threshold and stood in the elevator. Without warning, it began to descend, deeper and deeper, 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 and deeper still. Deeper and deeper, deeper and deeper, deeper and deeper. Deeper and deeper it fell. Kinky. <laughs> I closed my eyes and sight fell away. All sounds, too, disappeared. Alone in the universe, I waited for the elevator's doors to open for the last time. What could have been seconds or centuries later, I felt the gentle vibration of the elevator come to an end. I slowly opened my eyes. This is the final trial site? <laughs> what do you think? Isn't it the perfect background for deciding a person's fate? <laughs> it's the long-awaited last stage! It's always exciting final boss battle. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm still gonna sit on this... And I'm gonna sit in on this one. I'll just sit right here in the vacant 16th seat. Thrills, chills, kills. Well then, let's begin! Yes, I wanna save the data. Yes. Alright, I'm gonna go live button. I. Right. So I'll set that up. Thank you, everybody. I'm going to set up the raid. And then I will see you tomorrow.
I just need the need to find it. <laughs> oh. That's fair, right? Hold on. Apparently not. There we go. Why can't I find it? Okay. I can't find you for some reason. Oh my god. We are doing some. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Apparently the audio started. Why can't I find this? I can't find the raid I'm trying to raid. I can't find the stream I'm trying to raid. There we go. All right, everyone. Oh, shit. No, I didn't mean that. No. <laughs> I'm fucking bad at this. <laughs> right. I'll see you later tomorrow. <laughs>